All right, so I had somebody ask me about the hiring process at Estes Express Line. So I'll give you what I went through and this three minutes if I can, and I'll make a part two if I can. So I applied at Estes and then I went online and I found the directory and I found the terminal manager's email address and I emailed him after I submitted my application uh, to drive. And he got right back to me. Our terminal manager here is a great guy. He got right back to me. I know that some people have previously said, you know, they put an application in and follow that process and didn't hear anything back. I, I can't help you with that, but I will tell you, if you're thinking about coming to Estes, that's what you do. Put your application in, make sure you have all your endorsements, your doubles, your triples, your hazmat, your tanker, and that you don't have a, a criminal background, you don't have anything pending, uh, no excessive speed, uh, you know, no accidents or uh, anything that's derogatory against you. Accidents do happen. It could have been an accident that wasn't your fault, but it still shows, right? So I put that application in, contacted terminal manager. He got in touch with me, and uh, I was over the road with Old Dominion. So, you know, I explained to him I was a team driver and it wasn't a good time for me to talk. He's like, that's fine, I understand. Uh, gave me his cell phone number, contacted him when I got back in town, set up a, a time and date to go into the office to meet him. He explained what the job entailed, same thing as OD, because I was coming from another LTL. So I had the experience, about three years under my belt. And uh, he sent me on my way to the local office that they use for uh, drug testing and uh, your physical. And I did all that, then I went back to the office, handed my paperwork in, got some other paperwork that I had to fill out so they could do the background check. Background check took about two weeks. Uh, that doesn't count weekends. And this was during the, you know, the pandemic. So <clears throat> uh, it could be less now, but the pandemic crap starting back up with the Delta uh, virus. So uh, give it about two weeks. I called in about a week and a half into it uh, to check on the status of it because I was wanting to put my notice in an OD and take, you know, uh, two weeks off before I started. I was going to give two weeks notice, take some time off, come to Estes. But it just so happened that I got a text message from my soon-to-be boss that I was cleared. When could I start? I couldn't start that day. I called him and said, hey, I've got to go out for five days on this team run, and I can start when I get back. And that's pretty much it. Start to finish. Uh, two weeks, man. 